guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new but today I am going to be talking about some of my favorite things that have been either my favorite recently or my long-term favorites my long-term favorites that are still persistent in my life today I had this idea literally like it's 12.55 and I had this idea at 12.30 and so I ferociously wrote a bunch of things down in my notes because I was just very connected to this idea. So I needed to get it all out there. And then now I'm filming it right now because I want to. And I, once I'm like really passionate about one idea, I gotta do it. Otherwise it's gonna eat me alive. And I have to go to work tonight. And I'm gonna do a really strong start because this one has been pretty big. I purchased this, I wanna say about a week ago and it is one of the best purchases I think I've ever made and it's my hydro flask now think what you want about hydro flasks call me a visco girl I'm okay with that title because this water bottle keeps shit cold for so long I put the straw lid on it because nobody's got time to be like opening the lid and then drinking it like that no 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 especially me because if here's the thing if something like the more effort something takes that I'm not really interested in I'm not gonna do it. Because drinking through a straw is fun, and if you've ever, well, you probably haven't, but if ever you see me in public with a drink with a straw, no matter what kind of drink it is, even if I don't like it, I will finish it because there is a drink with a straw in front of me. So thus, I don't even know if that's the correct use of that word, but me drinking more water because I know that's really good for you, especially for your skin, which is a nice little segue to something that I'll be talking about next, but it's really good for you and I need to be drinking more water. So this one is like, it's almost a litre, it's like 970 something milliliters, so it's almost a litre and I love it. The colour name is Eggplant as well, which I thought was funny. <sighs> Moving on from the segue to drinking lots of water being good for your skin, I have gotten back into doing skincare because there was a minute there where I just like, I kind of washed my face and that was it. And the reason that I wasn't like moisturizing or doing anything else was literally because I ran out of product and just couldn't be bothered to purchase a new product. So, I took a stand to this the other day. One moment, I'm gonna get some visuals. Okay, so I already, I still have a face wash. I wash my face every day, sometimes twice a day, which I know isn't awesome for your skin, but at least I'm washing my face. And it's, it's Cetaphil, it's literally just like face and body wash. Like you can literally use it as body soap as well, which makes it perfect for me. Like it's just a simple cleanser. I keep it in the shower. Yeah. I got the moisturizing lotion that goes with it. It says for face and body, but I just use this one for like my legs and arms because I had gotten into a really bad habit of not moisturizing my legs. And let me tell you, I would shower and they'd be fine. And then five minutes later, it's like the Sahara Desert on these bad boys. I just... Thank you Cetaphil. Then we move on to face. I... My skin is like decently textured, but I don't... I've never known why. It's just been like that my whole life. So I always tried... When I was really into skincare, I used to always try and like have an exfoliant every couple days. And then I ran out of my exfoliant. like. I want to say probably about a year ago and I just have never replaced it until now. I went into Priceline and I was like I'm gonna do this and then there was so many options and I got overwhelmed so then I started looking at the fake tanner. Lo and behold in the Bondi Sands section because I'm a devotee to Bondi Sands I see this buff and polish actually you're not gonna see it because this camera does focusy things but it's the Bondi Sands Everyday Skincare Buff and Polish Refining Gentle Chemical Exfoliant. I was just like, oh cool, great, exfoliator. And I didn't really know what a chemical exfoliant meant until I used it. And basically, what you do is you just put two drops of it on your face and then like rub it in, leave it on overnight and it like chemically like, I know it says it in the name, but I didn't put two and two together. And it chemically like gets rid of all the gunk from your face. And I, the reason that I went to like Bondi Sands and I like trusted it is because I use their fake tan. Not that I fake tan very frequently, but sometimes I just need that extra layer of protection, so I do it. I was like, okay, well I know Bondi Sands stuff doesn't make my skin react, so this seems safe. 
And so I also got the Bondi Sands Daydream Hydrating Whipped Moisturizer with Desert Lime Extract for during the day. So I'll wash my face in the morning, put my moisturizer on, and then in the evening, depending on whether my face is really like oily or not, I may wash it again and then put this on, or sometimes I just put this on. So this one has been like a long-standing favorite of mine, but there's a little bit of an explanation. So it's sugar-free Red Bull or just like caffeinated beverages, like an iced caramel latte and almond milk, but only the ones from McDonald's. I don't really like them anywhere else. Like I'll drink them, but it's usually rare that I'm like, damn, this iced latte is busting, busting. But I can only drink caffeinated beverages on average, like maximum twice a week. Otherwise they lose their like sparkle and they don't um they don't make me energized they don't like you know get me going um and that's what I like about caffeinated beverages so I have to restrict that to like only occasionally so that I still get what I like out of them next for the past I want to say maybe two years probably even more I have religiously been having for breakfast I've been having eggs on toast with barbecue sauce for breakfast and the other day, I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna have cereal. And let me tell you, that decision, brilliant. I am back on my breakfast cereal grind. I love breakfast cereal. This morning I had Cheerios with a little bit of honey and almond milk because I don't, I don't really like dairy that much. Um, I used to say that I was allergic to it and like... It's technically an allergy slash intolerance, but like I can have a little bit of it and I'm not gonna die. I just don't really enjoy it that much. <sighs> but breakfast cereal with almond milk, I've, the ones that I've been going through is like, I think it's like the organic one, but it's like Exo Crunch and it's like chocolatey. And then Cheerios and gluten-free wheat bix because I also have bad reactions to gluten. One of my favorite, this is, quite possibly my favorite movie of all time is Spy Kids, the first one. And I have watched this movie countless times. However, recently I got back into my like watching YouTube sort of thing and I was like, I like t took some time away from the old like the Netflix stand, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, like there's too many of them, but I took a break from it and then I it was either yesterday or the day before, I rewatched Spy Kids again. When I tell you, I think I may know every single line in this movie, and every single time I watch it, I still enjoy it. So it is going to be, it, like, it has to be my top favorite movie because I can't, there's no other movie that I can watch that I will watch it every single time and I will enjoy it every single time. Like I'll never put Spy Kids on just to like have noise because it's such a good movie. This one, they, okay, these ones also require a visual, oh my god, but this is my best friend, Mr. Whiskers. These two, they don't really have a story, but I just love them. They so do. So this is Tabitha, and she's a Squishmallow, and I remember I was literally thinking like the day before I found Tabitha, um, I was like, Oh, I should get a Squishmallow. I kind of want one. I was like, oh, because all my friends have them and they're really soft and I literally use them as pillows when I'm at my friends' houses and I sleep there. But then the next day at work, someone left this Squishmallow. Oh, this kind of makes me sound like a bad person, but it's, it's fine. It was divine timing. That's what I'm blaming it on. But someone left Tabitha at work and nobody came to go and get her. So I was like, I am keeping this. And I took it home, washed her, and she's mine now. That is how I manifested a Squishmallow into my life. And then I have this pillow, which I got these two piercings, um, I want to say just over like a year ago. And I still can't sleep on them because I changed them into hoops far too early because I got them for my formal last year. But this pillow, I just put my like ear into the groove here and I can sleep on this side. It's just really cuddly and I love to, I like cuddling something at night, but these pillows, they're just too big to cuddle. Do you see? Too big. So I cuddle one of these two. This next thing, I'm very much into, but it's headwear. I bought this headband in like, it's from like one of the school sections where you can get like accessories for school. 
Um, and I bought a three pack of black ones, a three pack of brown ones, and I also bought these two. I also bought like a dark blue one, or is this, I feel like this is royal blue maybe, and a butterfly. These two like came in a pack. And I also bought this one, but I gotta figure out how to wear it, because I don't really know how to like do hair and stuff. But I'm gonna figure out how to wear this, and I will be wearing it. So recently, because I like work full time, I only have, there's two days in a week that I can like do what I want. But I have just <laughs> really recently not been into socializing in a group, but socializing with like one or two, maximum three people at a time, that is my shit. Oh my God, I just got mail and I thought it was gonna be the phone case that I just ordered online like a couple days ago. And I was like, damn, that's really fast. Um, it's actually my high school diploma. <laughs> I did not realize that I got one. Oh my god, I fully forgot. I was trying to think about it today because I was re-watching like an old Emma Chamberlain and Dolan I was about to say Emma Chamberlain and Do Doja Cat. But I was re-watching an old Emma Chamberlain and the Dolan Twins video and it was the one where they like retake finals or something. And I was like, damn, what did I get in high school? And I thought I did like, I was like, oh, I did bad in English. Nah, uh, uh, I did good in English. But yeah, I did the International Baccalaureate. Fuck that shit. That shit was hard. Um, and there was literally zero need for me to do it because I'm not going to university. But I just liked to put myself through that. But if you want a more in-depth video on me doing the IB, which I'm sure none of you do because, like, why would you want that? <laughs> this is to certify the Danny Way Good receives... You use such a weird font as well. I, so, we're circling back to my favourite. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. God, this is going to be really fun to edit. Sorry, Denny in the future. The colours brown and purple. Namely this kind of purple. And I don't really know, like a... I don't really know how to describe it. But it's like a... It's a light dark purple. Like if you added white to this, I feel like it would be the right colour that I'm thinking about. I also did not... I did high level visual art in high school, but I don't know colour theory, so... Brown has always been... Hello! This is my dog, Sonic. He thinks he's a cat. And the cat doesn't like him, but that's okay. But the colour brown has always been a favourite of mine, like, to wear... I was about to say to eat, but you can't... The colour... I just love the colour brown, right? Colour brown clothes, brown cars. Brown cars are sexy as fuck. Brown everything. Except for like food, because I don't really like chocolate that much. Videos of Doja Cat performing. Those videos do something to me. I see them on my TikTok, my little For You page, and I am just mesmerized. Like I have to watch them at least three times because that woman is just so incredible. And like the way that she moves, the outfits that she has. That's all. That's all I have to say. Because that woman leaves me speechless every single time. And this is the last one, but this is a big one. Taylor Swift's Reputation album. That album also does things to me. But I... There is... There is nothing quite like scream singing any single one of like the songs of that album while I'm driving anywhere. Especially to work, because... I don't really like working, like, ofs, well, you shouldn't be doing a job that you don't like, but for right now, I am doing a job that I, like, it's, it's okay, I've done it for five years, so, like, I must like something about it, but I just, like, if, there's, sometimes there's days where I'm just, like, not feeling it, and I put on reputation, and I just, like, scream sing in the car, and I let it all out, that feels good, that helps, that makes things so much better. So, that album, and I don't mean to sound, okay, I don't mean to sound like one of those crazy Taylor Swift bitches, because, like, on the low, I am, but I would never admit that to anyone, and also no hate to crazy Taylor Swift bitches, because you guys, I'm one of you, secretly, but now I'm putting this on the internet, so it's not so secret. I also like Shawn Mendes, which nobody's allowed to know. I love, I love that I'm, like, saying things here, that, like, I, nobody knows these things. 
but somehow it seems better to me to say it here and then put it on YouTube than to like actually say it in real life. Even though I feel like on YouTube there's potential for me to like reach a much wider audience. But that's okay, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you made it this far, it kind of seems like you enjoyed the video, and if you didn't enjoy the video and you still made it this far, well, you seem confused. Ooh, oh my god, my nail is like coming off. That is not a favourite. But you should subscribe down below, like the video, comment, whatever you want, um, and I will see you guys next Monday slash Thursday. Don't blame me, love made me crazy, if it doesn't you ain't doing it right. Oh Lord, save me, my drug is my baby I'll be using for the rest of my using for the rest